It's that time again guys for another Primark haul. I went down there and I did the standard damage and of course I had to share it with you guys because it just doesn't feel right if I don't come on here and at least show someone what I found. I found some really great bits for spring and summer and also holiday season as well. So anyone that has their holidays booked, I think you're gonna take great inspiration from this video. I'm actually off to Lisbon this week in literally like two sleeps time and I haven't packed or anything. So I'm really hoping that some of these pieces I will love and be able to take them with me. Normally I would have tried everything on before I film this part of the video for you, just so I can give you like an overview of the fit, but I haven't had time yet. So we're just gonna run through everything and I'll pop on screen what it looks like when I try it on and you can just make your own judgment as to how nice you think it is or not um but anyways with that being said let's run through everything i've got some really cute bits so let's start okay so first off i found a really beautiful cupboard set and i'm absolutely obsessed with waistcoats this year i think they're so cute for spring summer and they're such a nice way of wearing something that's not too uncomfortable but you look so elevated and put together it's just so much better than just wearing a basic like vest top so i found this absolutely gorgeous waistcoat i got mine in a size medium for 12 pounds I did want a small but they were all out of stock like this set was like gold dust I had to rummage through every single hanger you know when the hangers and the sizes are all different they don't correlate and you're like oh my god just please have my size it was one of those times I was there for like a good five minutes trying to find it so I had to pick this one up but I'm sure it will fit okay so this is just simply stunning it has a gorgeous texture hopefully you can see that through the lens it's basically like a cream and then it has kind of speckles and grain that runs throughout in just different tones and it just makes it look quite expensive. It's giving Zara sort of vibes, definitely. I love the tie ups on the front. You have the top and the bottom one as well. And this for me is just screaming holiday. European city break, your cute little cord set because yes, it is a cord. So yes, it does come with the matching score and I love a skirt, guys. I'm sure you know if you're regular how much I love skirts. I just prefer them because they look a little bit dressier than a pair of shorts, but you have the protection that you don't get from a skirt. So they're just the best of both worlds. This one has an asymmetric detail at the front and then it ties up in the bow to mirror the top and it's so sweet you could wear these together you can wear them as separates so you literally have three looks in the set quality wise of this range it is quite thin i'm gonna be honest so we'll have to see what it looks like on it's yeah, it's literally like one piece of fabric thin. There's no lining or anything like that. It's super soft though. So for comfortability, I think it will be really nice to wear. But yeah, it's just gonna be a matter of if underwear shows or not. I feel like it will unless you wear seamless basically. Okay, so next we have another little waistcoat, but this is part of a four piece set. So I'll run through everything separately because I love this range. You can literally mix and match all of the pieces together and you can also wear them with different things as well. So you effectively have like, think how many outfit variations you actually have. This is the first piece that I went for, this really lovely little waistcoat. I got this in a size small for £12. I love the fact that it's white. I think white is so crisp and perfect for spring summer. I also love the neckline on this one. It's a slightly soft sweetheart neckline and then you have the thick straps as well and I love the fact that it's cropped. I think a cropped waistcoat looks so nice with a pair of high-waisted trousers or with some high-waisted shorts. So the first thing we'll try on with that is the skirt that it comes with. So I got mine in a size 12 and this was £12. So so this one has again that asymmetric detail in this soft round finish and I really really love it guys I think it's going to look so cute on the only reservation again is that it is quite thin the fabric feels lovely and soft but there's no denying that this is wafer thin um yeah I mean I feel like you can see my hand through it so yeah we'll just have to see how we get on with this but I'm a little bit concerned that you are going to see the underwear especially with white I feel like out of all the colors you could wear white is the least forgiving when it comes to being see-through it just shows everything. We'll see how we get on, but if that doesn't work and we can see our underwear, I do have something that could help. So I have the blazer. So not ideal, but you could wear the blazer to cover the bum, which I think would then stop any see-throughness showing. I got mine in a medium for 22 pounds. This was another piece that was really, really low on stock. I wish I'd gone for a small, but um, yeah, I could only get my hands on a medium, which will be fine, because it'll just be a slightly oversized fit. So I do love Primark blazers. I think they're really, really nice. Quite a few of my blazers are from Primark, and for the price point, you are getting a really nice blazer. So yeah, 
Here is the blazer. I think the fit of this will be probably really beautiful on. You could wear this over a little dress by itself. You could wear it with the set. You could wear a three piece set. You could wear the waistcoat, the blazer, the shorts. It would look really nice together, but you could also pair this just with the score and a different top. You could pair this with, like I say, over a little slip dress or something like that. I think a white blazer is an absolute must for your collection for spring, summer. This one is fairly plain. There's no buttons going on on the cuffs. And this one is just single breasted. And then it has the little fake pockets on the front as well. Again, thinness wise, it's not the thickest, but it's a blazer. It does have lining inside. So I think it will be just fine. And then last thing in the collection were the trousers. So I got mine again in a 12 for just 14 pounds. So here they are. I think the fit of these looks beautiful. The tailoring and everything about them does look absolutely stunning. And I do adore tailored trousers. I think they're such a nice thing to wear. They just smarten up any look. I always feel put together and classy when I wear a pair of trousers, even if I have a basic look on the top. You can literally wear them with trainers. Like you can really style them right down or you can style them right up with heels and just wear them on a night out, for example. So I think trousers like this are the perfect things you need in your collection. Um, again, I feel like I'm gonna keep saying it and gonna sound like a broken record. They do look thin. So we will see how thin they are when I try them on. Next up, we have this. So a lot of the haul is very light and creams, but there are some darker pieces to get through too. I got this shirt in a small for £12. This one is a gorgeous linen shirt. It's super, super soft. I actually think it feels really nice. And I love the colour as well. I love how it's just off-white cream. This one does not have any buttons or anything on the cuffs. I thought you could get this super oversized and wear it over a bikini. I think that could look really cute. Or you can just wear this in the summertime with some smart trousers or with some smart shorts or something like that as well. I then found this little beach dress, which I thought was so sweet for a holiday. So I got this in a small for £14. And I really love this. I love the colour for one. It's a really lovely cream and it has a gorgeous texture to it. If you can see, it's like a crinkly sort of texture. The shape is just nice and simple. You've got the high neckline, you've got the long sleeves. The length is like a kind of shortish length, but not too short. And then the back is where all the detail is at. So this one has a nice scooped back and then it ties up at the top with this rope and you have these wooden beads, which I think just looks really sweet. Perfect to wear over a bikini on holiday. Maybe you're going to get some lunch. This is perfect because it's super lightweight, it's thin. So you can literally roll it up, chuck it in your bag. And it's gonna take no space up at all. And then you have something to be covered and not to feel conscious, you know, when you go grab your lunch. So I think that's perfect. And I also got the exact same one, but in the black as well. So again, this was size small for 14 pounds. This one, again, exactly the same. So you've got that gorgeous crinkle detail. Although these are thin fabrics, this one doesn't look see-through at all from what I can see. So I think this is probably gonna be quite a good kind of cover up sort of piece. I forgot to say, but the cuffs on these are just ever so slightly flared, like not too much, but they just have a tiny bit of a flair to them, which I think is really pretty. I love a little moment on the sleeves. I found this hat, which I thought would be so sweet for a holiday. So this was only four pounds, such a bargain. How nice is this guys? Navy color and then white. I think it's so nice, it's really big. Let's try it on. I do not get on with hats a lot of the time, okay? I look like an idiot, but we'll see. Oh, I think I like it. What do we think? Just picture being in the south of France. Monaco vibes, Italy vibes, like this. Sipping on your cocktail in your gorgeous bikini or swimsuit on the beach with your matching towel. I just feel like it's a vibe. I feel like these sort of hats just make me think of like elegant rich women. So yeah, I think I'll probably keep that. They also did this in a neutral shade as well. They had it in cream as like a straw sort of tan color. Um, but yeah, I thought this one was so cute. And I also got some heels. I feel like it's my hair ruined now. Is it okay? Hopefully it's okay. Yeah, I got some heels because I, I'm just obsessed with these sort of heels. So these were 12 pounds, which I actually think for Primark is so good now because they're heel, like everything's gone up, hasn't it? Like so much. And I feel like you don't get many shoes anymore for like, around 10 pounds, most of them are nearly 20 now. So 12 pounds for a pair of heels, I thought was a right steal. And these are literally like identical to my favorite ever sandal heels because they have a block heel, the square toe, which I'm obsessed with. And then this part is like foamy almost. Can you see it's like soft and rounded? So these sort of straps do not cut into your feet. Whereas some strappy heels, are flat straps, if that makes any sense, and it's really uncomfortable. This sort of style, I mean, I haven't worn them to know, but I think they're gonna be really comfy. And I just think they're so elegant looking. They did these in tan, they did them in black, in sage, and also in the white as well. And I think these 
going to be absolutely perfect to wear for summertime. So I'm so happy that I found these. I also got myself another pair of pajamas because I just can't, okay, I can't not, guys. I love Primark pajamas. They're just so good. So I actually have the exact same set as these, but from H&M, and I paid 30 pounds for them. And then when Primark bought them out, I was like, I need them. So everyone knows about the Primark pipe pajamas, but these are in navy, and I've never seen them in Primark before. So basically, it's just like a long sleeve top with the white piping. And then you have the matching long pajama bottoms that go with as well. And then the bottoms of these are like the piping detail. And I just think they look so classy and so nice. Every time I wear these, I just feel elevated <laughs> compared to wearing like basic pajamas. I just really love them. And I get mine in a medium. I always go upper size because I want them to be nice and baggy and and just loose like you don't want pajamas to be really tight and uncomfortable but i honestly live in that style of pajama like nearly all my collection is just piped pajamas because i just think it looks so nice and then we have this now i don't know what i'm going to think of this when i put it on i mean you'll see on the screen but this is going to be a very hit or miss on me because of the neckline i'm not i don't i'm not convinced i'm going to like this but i did think it looked cute so i got this in a small there is no tag on it but i think it was like 12 pound maybe oops we're losing her she's falling everywhere this is a little crochet top so it's got a square neckline crochet vibes and i thought it was really cute the only thing is is how are you going to wear this because it's like completely see-through so i'm not really sure unless you wore it over a bikini but then would you wear this over a bikini i'm not really sure so yeah i have no idea when i would wear it how i would wear it and i don't think it's going to suit me so we're not holding up much hope for this piece but i do think it's sweet and i thought it would be worth sharing with you and then last up i got some makeup wipes for my holiday so these are the prep and perfect hydrating cleansing wipes because you know sometimes we just need a good old cleansing wipe i know they're not the best but they're just easy so yeah that actually ends the haul i feel like it was quite a short haul but there just wasn't that much in there guys like i feel like i'm waiting for a good trip and someone please tell me when that good trip's going to happen Although I say that, I did have a good haul about two months ago. About two months ago. Like, it used to be good all the time. And I feel like now I just wait and it never really happens. But I'm sure it will soon. Let's hold up hope. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Hopefully you saw some bits and pieces that you liked. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what your favourite thing was. You can also find me on Insta and TikTok if you like daily content. And yeah, that's about it from me. So I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.